Hey, 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 babes. Welcome back to Barb City. It's your girl, Christy, and good morning. I am taking the advice of one of my favorite YouTubers, Liron, female rap elite, and I am up, you guys, okay? With that being said, please go on ahead and subscribe to this channel. Turn your post notifications on if you love it here, okay? Also, when we're done here, follow me on Twitter at The Real Barb City and Instagram at Barb City Pink okay you guys my membership is up every perk included one level for only $2.99 a month I wish it could be free but the type of stuff I'm gonna be giving you guys um, I cannot share for free with those other fan bases okay with that being said you guys let's get right into it so you guys the baby aka the narcissist in my opinion is out here getting the karma that he deserves you guys um on monday info surfaced on twitter that the north carolina rapper was selling buy one get one free tickets for his upcoming show at iron city in birmingham alabama on november November 15th. According to their website, the venue has only a 1300 standing capacity, which is not a lot for an artist who was once considered one of the most popular in the genre. Okay, multiple listings for the concert show a buy one get one free deal that cost $22 with the $5.92 fee, which is a pretty good deal if you ask me. But instead of acknowledging the low cost, users on Black Twitter clown him as they have in the past. So, you guys, I definitely feel like the baby um, needed this. He needed to be humbled the way that he did Danny Lay. Like, I I know that she put herself in that position, but you know, the woman's mind after we have a baby is just so fragile and so fresh. Like the depression that we feel that we can't even control sometimes. And so for him to publicly do that to her, I was just not here for it. It was disgusting. The way he was chewing that gum, in my opinion, it was giving narcissist, period. So, of course, you guys, everybody had their own opinions about the situation and two people saying some ninjas have no respect or appreciation for their own brothers and sisters, but want to act a fool when we get the same treatment. Tearing a brother down ain't nobody coming into you, Otis. I'm just so tired of like certain people who don't respect other black people getting to use the black card like no ma'am okay they also said y'all said canceling don't work but the baby one step closer to performing at autozone so canceling definitely will and does work okay the only way it's effective is if people stick together and actually stop supporting that person so that's why they say canceling doesn't work because that's what doesn't happen okay another person saying the baby selling his tickets, buy one, get one, has got to be the saddest crap ever for a rapper. And it's crazy because nobody else hurt his career more than he did. Talk about self-sabotage self and lack of situational awareness and ego. Who that, that one right there was so deep because I'm telling you guys, I literally, I'm telling you guys, excuse me, y'all, I smoke too much tree tree. OK, anyway, I'm telling you guys like he is a narcissist, in my opinion. I do not like the baby's energy at all. I really, really, really used to like his music, but I am not a fan no more. Mm -mm. Anyways, you guys, um, another person saying the baby knew exactly what he was saying and doing. Remember, he went to college. He not just a street guy. He thought he could do and say whatever he wanted. He can, but people don't have to be on the BS he on. I hope this hum humbling moment in his life actually humbles him and he is truly learning from it. Tear him down and build him up, okay? Tearing down a brother that tore down others, the quality of your character still matters. F out of here like no ma'am, okay? Treat people the way you want to be treated. We learn that at a very young age. Anyways, bye. This man is getting his karma. Did you say the same thing when he was punching black women in their faces? Bye. He needs to be torn down. He's for the streets, okay? 
he should consider smaller venues. It's hard out here for a never mind. Pay less shoes as concert. Man, buy the buy one, get one deal or don't. Some of these folks wouldn't normally be able to afford it without talking from taking from another bill. Take it and enjoy the show. Dang, his career is over. So like I said, you guys, people were uh, just basically dragging the baby. <laughs> it was hilarious to see. I love that he's getting his karma. This is the best for him. And yes, I hope it humbles him. Okay, with that being said, you guys, let's get into the next topic. So, of course, that topic is going to be about none other than Nicki Minaj, you guys. She retweeted a post from Pop Base that says, Nicki Minaj is now the first female rapper to earn 10 top 10 hits on the U.S. pop radio, okay? Chart Data also posted that Nicki Minaj was back in the top 10 after spending 10 consecutive weeks on Billboard Hot 100 in the top 10. She has now spent another two weeks in the top 10 since going back up. Also, you guys, I think I'm putting it out there that um, she did win the EMA's best song, best hip hop, and best artist, you guys. Um, Chart Data also posted Super Freaky Girl has now sold over 1.5 million units in the U.S. She also retweeted Nicki Minaj's Super Freaky Girl extends her record as the longest running number one hit on the Billboard Hot Rap Songs chart this decade. I feel like the Grammys needs to address that. How is she on the rap charts with this song? And you guys are saying it's not rap. Anyways, you guys, Nicki Minaj also plans to open a nail salon. And one of her fans is really excited saying, glad Nicki is starting a nail company instead of following others, musician steps and joining the makeup industry. She will be the biggest household name in the market. Her company will forever thrive. Arrive. Okay. Also, right here, you guys, Rihanna and Nicki Minaj will be in Brooklyn on December 10th at the Brooklyn Bowl. I guess they those two will be performing, and the lineup is just Rihanna and Nicki Minaj. So again, December 10th, you guys, in Brooklyn at the Brooklyn Bowl, uh, Nicki Minaj and Rihanna will be there December 10th, and they are the only lineup, okay? The excitement is real. Anyways, you guys know that I like to read comments from the barbs um, in my videos just so that y'all know what we're always thinking and feeling about the queen in certain situations, but this barb saying they always quick to bring up Nikki's age, but the people the most messiest towards Nikki are freaking older than her. Nor, Kim, Remy, Missy, Jason, P, Breakfast Club crew, and not to mention the haters behind the scenes running the labels. And on the flip side of that, you are you got uneducated, untalented, one hit one album artist thinking they're somehow on the same level as Nicki Minaj and disrespecting her. The kind of things Nicki has to deal with, my goodness. I don't know how she manages mentally. Watching people you thought were friends or cool backstab you, lie on your name, no one publicly defending her, then to watch the general public follow through on that, calling you every name in the book, radio personalities and bloggers dragging your name up for clicks and views, comparing you to Duddy B constantly after this woman through after this woman threw a shoe at you and she is somehow the bad guy in all of this wow and whenever you try to defend yourself you're called bitter and old and washed up but the most amazing part is despite all that this woman has prevailed like how how sway she definitely got god on a god on her side or some type of blessing over her because ain't no way that is why people uh keep quiet in the industry so you guys like i said that was a beautiful message from the barbs and i just had to share it with you guys 
Now, you guys, as you guys know, JT got the honor of interviewing um, Nicki Minaj for the ID Magazine royalty cover, okay? I feel like she did an amazing job. I am so proud of the whole project. I was going to break it down for you guys and do a whole video, but I feel like you guys are not going to get the full effect from the interview if you guys don't watch it or excuse me read it yourselves the interview is really deep and it covers like all the bases and questions the barbs would have had like or just like all the things that we ramble on about all day for Nicki Minaj like she was able to say those things in their interview JT um, pointing out that she had a love-hate relationship with Nicki Minaj because she, she didn't understand why Nicki Minaj went pop. Nicki Minaj apologized for that. It, I mean, the interview is so deep. And if you guys have not checked it out, you're missing out, okay? Make sure you guys do that. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I love you guys. Thanks.